an ounce. Radioactive toothpaste. I'm Jim Fugate and it's my privilege to share an ounce with you. Ever heard of the element irium? Sounds kind of dangerous, right? Like uranium, plutonium, and other radioactive stuff. Well, I'm here to tell you that irium is most definitely a thing. Or at least it was when it was introduced about 100 years ago. But not a real thing. Back in the early part of the atomic age, folks were impressed by the thought that a gently glowing substance filled with innate energy all on its own was amazing. Radioactive materials began finding their way into all kinds of things, from pills to pain-relieving pads to tonics and skin treatments and cosmetics. Folks didn't know any better. And many of the powers that be insisted that radiation was just not at all dangerous. Well, until somebody's jaw fell off, but that's a whole other story. The belief in radioactivity as a miracle cure-all gave rise to the super ingredient, irium. This seemingly magic element appeared to have the power to make your teeth clean and white, and it could fight tooth decay too, like nothing else ever discovered. And it was found in, and only in, Hepcident toothpaste. Yep, right there on the front of the container was the statement, Hepcident contains irium. Looking back now, knowing the truth, it's hard to decide if we should laugh about this or be very concerned. Let me explain. See, the Pepsodent Company Limited, well, they were lying. Their lie was that irium could make teeth whiter, and it was also good to fight tooth decay. But not for the reason you might think. The reason irium was useless in toothpaste, or anything else it might have been included in, was because irium did not then, nor does it now, actually exist. Irium was a made-up ingredient that was not only not included in Pepsodent's toothpaste, but just wasn't real, except as a marketing ploy to sell more toothpaste. It was an element imagined, made up, and pulled out of the ether by a marketing executive. You tell me, what's worse? The fact that folks were clamoring to brush their teeth with a radioactive material, or that Pepsodent was lying about what they put in their toothpaste. But wait, there's more. In 1943 and 44, the spooks at the United States super secret nuclear bomb building effort known as the Manhattan Project got wind that there was a large amount of thorium, a for reals radioactive element, being exported by a Belgian company out of France and into Germany. It was a turbulent time in France and Belgium. The Germans were falling back, the Allies were advancing, and Herr Hitler was pushing hard on his Wunderwaffen programs, or in English, wonder weapons. He desperately needed something to turn the tides of war back in his favor. And the hope was that his scientists would develop something to put Germany back on top. U.S. intelligence was aware of this desperation. And they became highly concerned that Germany might develop a nuclear weapon before then. So when they got the word that our Gesellschaft, this small Belgian company operating out of Paris, which had been producing gas masks and such, were now shipping thorium to Germany, well, they were concerned. And after some cloak and dagger and other spy stuff, including kidnapping the company executives, it was learned that our Gesellschaft was in fact shipping thorium to Germany. And in relatively speaking, large quantities. But it wasn't what you think. You see, this little Belgian-French outfit was aware that their sales of their main products was going to end soon. And they wanted to survive the end of the war and thrive in peacetime. So they began producing cosmetics and other personal items. Our Gesellschaft, impressed with the marketing success of Pepsodent, decided to make a truly radioactive toothpaste called Doromad Radioactive Zoncream. Toothpaste that really did contain a radioactive element, thorium. 
Unlike Pepsi and before them, this was not just something they made up. And the stuff sold like pancakes to the Germans, but in this case, the movement of thorium into Germany was about marketing, a successful line of personal hygiene products, and not about the development of atomic weapons. So here's the ounce. Things usually are just as they seem, but sometimes, well, what it seems is simply not what it is. So be cautious about jumping to conclusions. Irium and toothpaste, not real. Thorium and toothpaste, real, but for teeth and gums, not for weapons. Ironically, the thorium would most likely cause gums to deteriorate and teeth to fall out over time. In this world, there is so much out of sight, just under the surface. Lies upon lies and deceptions. So, like Ronald Reagan said, trust, but verify. And that's it. An ounce submitted for your consideration.